good day or what? Yeah. Are we fired up or what? Yeah. Hey, this is the only thing I have to say. I'll be very brief, okay? We're standing right here, right by the river, right? We've seen our jobs go down that river. Yeah. We've seen our houses go down that river. Yeah. We've seen furlough days maybe try to come up that river. Yeah. I'll tell you what, the bankers haven't seen anything. The bankers are enjoying the money that our government gave them. It's time for us on Main Street to reach out to these folks and tell them, we want real reform. All right, let's go have a great rally. Thank you all.
recently, in last summer, the Wells Fargo, they closed the Quad City Die Casting, a sister local from UE, and keep doing it everywhere in the country. So we have to stand up. The banks must be held accountable for the destruction they have caused in our community. Every 13 seconds, another home goes into foreclosure. Urban areas across the country that are already beaten down by high unemployment rates, violence, health concerns, and substandard education systems stand in the eye of the storm of the foreclosure. We see this, unfortunately, in our neighborhoods every day. So since I'm from Chicago, I want to take a liberty here. Take your time. And call a roll in Chicago. All right. Uh -oh. We want to talk about what that looks like in our neighborhood. We want to talk about the families that have been displaced because of foreclosure. Portage Park, 883. Near North, 893. That's my South Chicago, 902. New City, 1,157. West Ridge, 1,171. 1, South Shore, 1,187. Auburn Gresham, 1,216. West Pullman, 1,257. Eaglewood, 1,350. Humboldt Park, 1,358. Belmont Kerrigan, 1,400. Roblet, 1,402. Chicago Lawn, 1,574. Mm. West Englewood, 1,656. Yeah. Austin, on the west side, 2,215. Those are just a few of the neighborhoods in Chicago that are suffering from foreclosure. The entire city of Chicago since 2007 there have been 44,091 foreclosures. That's too many. Yes. And in our great country, the United States of America, since 2007, there have been over 5 million foreclosures. We think the ABA can do better than that. Enough is enough.